Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Trevor from ePlay. How are you today? I'm excellent. Thank you. Trevor, I would love it if we could start this discussion with how you are right on the curve with what's happening with AR, VR, and the evolving metaverse. Do you think Zuckerberg's going to pull it off and get us all doing 3D in our PCs in the next month? Not, not in the next month. Not in the next month. Uh, there's definitely a transition. Just like ePlay is in a transition to full commercialization, metaverse or spatial 3D environments are in a transition. And, and so what that means a year from now, we probably have a pretty clear view on what that is a year from now. But I don't I don't think we have a clear view. I think about it, I think about a time I saw that visual browser the first time in 1995 on my university campus. And because I was a video producer, I immediately saw YouTube. So that's 1995. If you remember, there was no YouTube until 2005. So it, it took, you know, it took 10 years for that to take place. This is going to, this feels to me like it's going to go a lot faster. There is a, a very rapid curve and Facebook, Apple and others are going to push it. I think a lot of people think that AR glasses are going to be the tipping point. Um, so we've got our mobile phones, we've got our other wearables, like maybe a smartwatch that can be bring us um, into the metaverse. We've got our, our smart TVs and other things that can maybe bring us there. Um, but I think a lot of people believe we'll, we'll know we're there for sure when, we're, when we put on a pair of glasses and, and, we, and we're, we're in the real world and this virtual world at the same time. And we look down like we're gonna do with the clock running app, you look down, and you see your dog walking with you, except your dog is is a, it's Pluto. It's a Disney character. It's, it's, it's not your dog, or maybe it is your dog, but it's been converted into a giraffe. Um, and why? Because we like to play games. We like to do things. We like to see the world in a different way. And, uh, and I think that's when most people will get it. That could happen in the next year. Well, we do appreciate that Musk has added the fiery fuel to the competitiveness between the billionaires involved in social media. So let's just jump to the fact that you have put out seven news releases in the last 40 days, if that, and they're all arguably major news pieces on the commercialization for ePlay. So how about we start how about we just start there? Do you want to tell us what you think the most exciting piece of news is from the last seven that have come out since the beginning of March? Um, so I think the most important is the transition to full com commercialization. We've been following this path of innovation. Talk, you know, you mentioned you started off talking about the curve of innovation that we're all on with this metaverse, uh, with the spatial internet, whatever you want to call that. And we've been developing and innovating like a lot of people have during pandemic, heads down, um, making things happen, doing things that um, really nobody's ever seen before. Uh, we've been doing that in particular with the clock running app and um, proving that out from an innovation point of view, that is getting it to work um, and then getting a, a kind of a, uh, a product to market fit. That we, we, we launched in November, our first race. Uh, we've been working on that product to market fit. We've got 20 some thousand users, we can go back to those users and ask them, how are we doing? Um, what do you like? We can go look at the data for uh, their usage, for our cost of customer acquisition, for our ROI. And, and we've done all that and we've published that information. So we know how much uh, we make off every dollar we spent on marketing on Clocked and our other apps. And so we know what that ROI is and now we now we know how to accelerate it because we're testing the market and talking to our users and evaluating that data. So really it is uh, the transition to full commercialization or, or really the acceleration of commercialization where you say to yourself, um, we've got the right product to market fit, at least you know enough. Now let's go. Um, we'll keep learning about what that means uh, over time and we'll keep watching that data and keep innovating uh, as we go towards you know the next step is when we put on that pair of glasses um, instead of just using our smartwatch or a, or a phone to play a game or go for a run. So a question for you. You can currently do go into the metaverse and use Clocked. Is that correct? Yeah, we've got a number of entry points now. Um, so the app, you, you just start an activity or you go view an activity. You watch a 
you watch a replay and you're in the metaverse and it's a dynamic metaverse that that um anybody can contribute to they can contribute through 3d ads they can contribute through billboards they can they can say no i want i want a delorean on this course or i i want a, a lamborghini or i want a you know a toyota anybody can contribute in that way and they can see those things uh, they get that their, their motive could be and our motive could be just dollars advertising impressions that sort of thing or their motive could be you know more from an engagement point of view so yes um that's available now to app users and to web users as well you you can i was gonna say log on but it actually it's, it's not that complicated you can just go to clock world in your web browser you don't have to log on and you can see um, different maps, uh, view different places, see the landmarks, see who owns the land that uh, is in Clock World, um, see which land is available for sale. And because we do 5K, 3K, 10K, 42K um, races and courses and group runs, um, along every one of those runs, think of that as you're running the streets of Paris or whatever, there's 40. You know, if it's 10k race, there's 10k of property on the left hand side and 10k of property on the right hand side, all available for people to um, to view. Number one, to engage with. I guess number two, advertise in and and monetize. Okay, so you know your numbers. Well, some people may go, well, that doesn't sound like a lot. Are a lot when you start looking at the metaverse numbers of users, and it's my understanding that this new uh, Facebook integration with Horizon World will open your market up to 2.9 billion users here in the next couple of months. Is that correct? Yeah, well, well, I mean, there's some um, there, there are, as always, uh, if we go back and look at any technology, there, there can be technical incompatibilities between, um, you know, the places we go with our technology. So if you just think Android versus iOS, you know, there's there's some technical incompatibilities there. But that aside, those technical incompatibilities aside, the the um, Facebook will will, you know, is going to be an early leader in driving that critical mass. Um, we're an early leader in driving the critical mass in a niche, you know, kind of, you know, there's no other running metaverse that you could you know, log, log in, I keep saying log in, you know, immerse yourself in today, um, other than other than clocked. Um, and, and that's available today. So we're an early leader. But obviously, Facebook's got all the mass, uh, all the mass in the world, really. <laughs> okay, so, so it sounds to me like you are right there at the forefront of a technology, I was speaking with another uh, VR company working towards the metaverse, they were explaining that they had gotten involved because uh, a friend of theirs, who's the guy that stars as Jay, uh, Doogie Hauser, apparently oh he exercises with the mass, so perhaps he uses clocked. I, 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 I'm alleging that perhaps he might. I'm gonna see if I can get his email. We'll send him a version of clocked and get him, yeah. get, get you some feedback. So can you tell me about this Triver partnership? Because this also looks very cutting edge. They look like they're at the forefront of figuring out how to capitalize on the AR, VR universe to which you have multiple options. I mean, you have more than clocked. You've got the Howie Mandel, right? Uh, application and a couple of additional ones. That's right. And so although we haven't add, added their technology into production or sort of app releases on, on Howie or, or Rob Ori's app yet, we're just testing those still. We have added their SDK, their software to the clocked app. And, and the reason we do that one at a time and, and, and step through kind of on that's our transition to full commercialization. You do it on one, make sure it works, make sure there's an ROI there, and then you can do it three times instead of just the one time. Um, so what's really cool about, about Triver is the, um, uh, they're dealing with ad um, buyers, um, people that are saying to themselves, well, I'd like to be in the electronic arts uh, NBA 2K game. I'd like to be in you know the other things people have heard a lot about. Um, and they buy, um, really inventory um, uh, from an auction that Trevor manages. It's like how Google ads works. Um, and their ads are placed wherever there is inventory and clocked as part of that inventory. So we don't have to know, but, you know, let's say it's, 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 uh, let's say Trevor has a relationship with, um, 
I'm just gonna, I was going to try and come up with a sneaker brand that is less well known, but let's just use Nike because it's really well known. They, I don't think they do. I don't know that they do or they don't. Um, Nike would say, could say, hey, listen, we only want to buy NBA 2K. We're going to go talk to Electronic Arts. Um, but no, we have this relationship with Trevor as well. And we're going to compare NBA 2K, um, you know, engagement with the engagement we buy off of Trevor. Because really, at the end of the day, what Nike cares about is really probably the cheapest um, cost per impression they can get. Or not that Nike cares about this, their media buyer that does this work. Um, and so so Trevor would place that in Clocked and wherever else Trevor uh, uh, has a relationship with. And a sneaker could show up. A billboard could show up, um, a Nike uh, apparel could show up um, as you're running through through Paris. It, it could be where the Nike store is in real life, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Um, it, it just shows up in 3D in a way that really most of us have never seen before unless we've seen ad placements in NBA 2K. So it's it's pretty innovative. It's also a little on the early side because whenever somebody says, nobody's seen it before. That means some media buyer is probably not ready to buy that, but to the degree Trevor can convince those people to buy that um, experience, we're part of their inventory and uh, we're seeing for the first time ad revenue from that relationship. Well, Trevor, we would like you to be on more often at Investor Intel and help us watch this evolving technology, which is anticipated to literally be a multi-trillion dollar market. And on that note, Trevor, I just have to ask you, are you actually Trevor? I know. <laughs> Whenever anybody says Trevor, I get confused. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much. We appreciate it. And uh, for everyone out there, uh, I want to recommend that you go to ePlay's website, if only to get in better shape. Thank you.